morning, gang. It's Andrew. How are you? I'm in Iowa. We're about to head to an event on gun violence. This morning, some really fun news. Elon Musk endorsed me on Twitter. The exact words were, I support Yang. Three words that are going to make history. <laughs> so I have to say, uh, Yang Yang just got a whole lot cooler and more spacerific and Teslarific and hyperlooperific. Um, those are all terrible words. Sorry about that. Not doing it justice. But it is incredibly gratifying, I have to say, even on a personal level, because it's kind of hard to imagine Elon Musk endorsing any politician. <laughs> like, I haven't looked into it, but I'm pretty sure this is the first time he has opined on just about anything in this uh, realm. And I'm just really pumped about it. Like, it's just, you know, I'm genuinely just freaking excited because I'm glad that he sees in our campaign, our platform, a real opportunity to advance not just our country, but all of civilization. And if anyone knows about advancing civilization, it's Elon. The thing I appreciate, so he said a number of things that I've really taken to heart. One thing he said was that if the positive change is big enough, sometimes you should do it even if there's a low probability of success. So think about that for a second. Like if the impact is gonna be big enough, you should, sometimes you should do it even if there's a low probability of success. The other thing is the fortitude he's displayed in pursuing his businesses, because we all know that he's committed uh, his, not just like time and resources, but blood, sweat and tears to companies that'll really solve major problems. Like electric cars are gonna help make the earth cleaner and our energy more sustainable. SpaceX obviously is going to help us uh, continue to develop our technologies in terms of space exploration and Hyperloop could get us from point A to point B much, much faster. But he's not doing it in the way that frankly 99% of really successful people do it. 99% of really successful people say, okay, now I'm gonna do this other thing, but it really is not like make or break. Like I don't know many other people where it's like, hey, I made lots and lots of money and now I'm going to like put it all <laughs> on this thing. That does not happen. I know some of these characters and most of them are like, I'm gonna do this thing and everyone's gonna have to like act like it's a big deal because I'm a freaking billionaire. But the fact is if this thing doesn't do anything, it doesn't really matter, <laughs> you, know, you know what I mean? And Elon's one of the rare, rare people that actually has put his all into these next endeavors where we know one, that Tesla and SpaceX may or may not achieve their incredible goals. And number two, if they don't achieve their goals, it's gonna be not just like a eh, like setback, it's gonna be like a major, uh, like a major setback for thousands of people, but also even individually. It's so rare, I'm telling you, I know some of these folks um, and like it's one reason I just admire the heck out of Elon so much. So I am pumped to have Elon in the Yang Gang. Thank you, Elon. And uh, let's, let's make history together. Let's build a future that we'll all actually be proud of. So thank you, Yang Gang. See you all soon. About to reach our destination in Iowa. Love you guys. What a week. What a week for the Yang Gang. Oh.